fairly standard. That that seems like wide uh, than normal and. Wow! Whoa! I got the whole lounge in! Oh my god, my hand looks huge. My hand looks huge. Check that out! Can we start a video? What the hell? Lock it to the. Wow! So if you're new here, I make videos every Wednesday and every Sunday and then as often as I can in between, I upload a vlog. Primarily kind of fitness based, but I just show my life in general. I usually use the Canon M50, which is a mirrorless camera, um, and it's a lot cheaper than the iPhone, but has a lot of pros and cons to it, to, to both. We'll get to that later. But here is a full day, a full vlog, a full video, using just the iPhone 11 Pro. Wow. Let's take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this. Look how schmexy that is. Oh, oh God, everything's falling out of the case. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Oh, I like the back of it. Nice. Right, let's go home so I can actually use it. Oh my god! It's on. Hola. Yes, bonjour, Apple. Bonjour. Restore completed. iPhone was successfully restored. Just a few more steps to follow. <sighs> so for the past three or maybe even four years, I think, I have used the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, and that has been really good. It's been really good to me as, as a phone in general. But over the last kind of six months or so it started to break down you know the screen was cracked the, the apps were crashing the camera didn't really work just that kind of all, everything that goes wrong with an iphone just started to go wrong um and so this hand was kind of forced if you like with getting the, the 11 um or not even getting the 11 just getting a new phone um but the reason i wanted the 11 pro was the same reason that everyone else in my position in terms of content creation and all that kind of stuff wants it for and that's the camera fairly standard that that seems like wide uh than normal and wow whoa i got the whole lounge in oh my god my hand looks huge my hand looks huge let me start a video what the hell Lock it to bit. Wow. Wow. Hello. He hello. What the freaking hell? No, I, I have no idea what's actually happening here, but I know I'm going to be in shot. This is this is ridiculous. Okay, you got to watch out for your fingers. Look, if you hold the phone like a normal person, you can get your finger in the corner like that. Okay. Be careful with that. Look at it! I have no I have no idea what's actually happening here, but I know I'm gonna be in shot. First call. I've not been able to call on my old phone for like weeks, so. Okay, he's not going to answer. <laughs> can you swap between? Oh my god, you can, whilst you're doing it. That's mental, isn't it, Jesse? 
saying that's mental. Well, let's see what he thinks of this. Look how wide it is. Okay. It's like a freaking GoPro. Boom. So we have reached the end of a very long working day. Very good day, very productive day. Uploaded another YouTube video as well. Go and check that out. As you can see, this little film is actually still on the phone. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, you can see that. It's time to take that off. It got really dusty at work today. I was like filling a skip and stuff. So hang, hang on. Uh, three, two, one. Fantastic. Good morning everybody. So if you're new here, I am a fitness kind of guy. I make fitness gym kind of videos normally, right? So that involves weighings. Weighing? So that involves weigh-ins, which means you weigh yourself every morning or you figure out how much you weigh and how you can lose weight, how you can gain weight, blah 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 blah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that now. I have the most control over my midsection that I ever had. And that to me is a win. You know? I'm happy with that. God, I haven't got a camera. I need to film. I'm filming a vlog. You are my camera. I'm filming on the iPhone 11 Pro. It's such a cool video to make. The night mode on the photography on this is so cool. For a guy that makes a lot of videos and a lot of content creation, if you like, like I do, this phone is ridiculous. Like, I'll, I'll put the po the picture up. I mean, you guys can see the quality of the... Like, it was dark. I had no lights on in the room. The TV was on in the corner. But it just took this, like... But I didn't do anything. I've not edited it. It just looks like that. And that is a massive, massive help to someone like me. Just making my, my job a lot easier, you know? I think one thing that's worthy of being noted is that nothing on this video has been maximal. I've recorded in 1080p rather than 4K. This is 4K now, but before that it was 1080p. The wide angle was in very dim lighting in the home gym. Nor am I a professional photographer, videographer, or anything like that. I have a massive passion for it, but I am not technically a pro. You know, I don't do it for a full-time job sort of thing. Um, and so the, the idea, the purpose of this video is to test what it's like for someone like me. I know a lot of you guys watching will be people like me who make content, whether it be just for Instagram, just for YouTube, or I know freaking TikTok's a massive thing lately. I, I'm not on that. I really should be on that. But anyway, one thing that people like me tend to do in videos is go out, you know, go out and have social life, enjoy time with friends. And um, I figured that I'd test how this phone coped, if you like, with that how it coped with the, the darkness, the different coloured lights, and just the smoothness of the footage, you know? Because that's one thing I have noticed. It's massively just smooth and crisp. Like that bit where I was with Dad, I was shaking the camera around like this, and it was just 
was awesome, you know? But anyway, let's see how the iPhone 11 Pro, not the Pro Max, the Pro, does on a night out. <laughs> opinion for exactly what I need this phone for did not disappoint at all. Um, very smooth, very clean, very crisp footage and it was still in 1080 because it was filmed last night. Anyway, the point of this video was to establish the fact that you don't need a massive DSLR camera to, to do YouTube. You don't need that to be a vlogger, you know? Although Casey Neistat might have it and it's really cool or your favorite YouTuber might have a massive camera setup that's worth 5,000 pounds and that's awesome. But these people have been doing it for a few years, have the money for that, and it's kind of a necessity for them to keep upping their their, their content level, their content standard, if you like. Um, but if you're just starting out, you don't even need the iPhone 11 Pro. You just need a decent camera phone, a def decent, a decent camera on a phone, should I say. When I first got the 7 Plus, the reason that I kind of fought out for the 7 Plus, because obviously it was very expensive at the time, it had just come out, I did it so that when I when I had my, my videos, when I was filming my videos, if my camera died, I could then rely on my phone and switch between the two and no one would really notice. Looking back at the footage, you can of course notice. Um, and obviously the bits, the situations in between haven't exactly been optimal on this. And so you will have noticed on this video. But if I filmed an entire video, yes, I've used the M50 for parts of this video, but you know, I didn't have the phone for the entire thing. So what do you expect? But if I film an entire video on this phone, I don't think anyone would really notice. It's, it's that good. It's really, really, really good. It keeps it really stable, really smooth. You really can't ask much more of a phone, you know? It is literally just a phone that slides in your pocket. So then that poses the question of, can it replace a camera if you are starting a YouTube channel? And I would definitely say yes, because my camera, the M50, was like 650 quid. You have to buy lenses on top of that. And you know, it produces a very good, very high quality photo, very high quality video, but, if you are just a beginner, when it comes to kind of YouTube and content creation and stuff, you don't need that, you really, really don't. Some of the most successful people have started out with just a point and shoot, started out with an iPhone 5. You know, you don't need the DSLRs to become successful on YouTube. If you're gonna buy this massive inconvenient DSLR, which I know a lot of you guys will, and you could argue that I have as well, but then buy a smartphone, then the latest iPhone as well, it kind of contradicts, you know? I can quite confidently say that this phone could film an entire video, an entire vlog, no questions asked. I reckon it would be absolutely fine. Um, and I might try it and see if anyone notices a thing. But that is just my opinion, you know? I'm no pro. Let me know what you think. If you're recording in 4K, by the way, you can't go into um, full wide angle. This is one time zoom, two time zoom, but you can't go back to the thing you know look how smooth it keeps it though like if i'm shaking this around like this it's great i like it i really really like it so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you found it entertaining um you know I, I don't normally do videos like this but i figured we forked out the money for this and so i may as well make a video because i record everything else in my life so if you have enjoyed it do me a massive favor drop the video a like Comment down below, subscribe if you are new, share it with a friend. Together we will grow. That's my little thing that I say. You know, we all help each other here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> if, you, if you're new here, I, I'm not that weird all the time. I'll see you in the next one.